Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, thanks to Double Medical for uh, giving us the, uh, the chance to get together. So this is my topic, uh, minimal invasive surgery of calcaneal fracture with the STA for the Sanitasi uh, approach and Zhong Ming from Shanghai. Uh, this is our experience. Uh, it's also our learning curve for calcaneal fractures. Before 1998, we just uh, do the close excuse reduction. Me, excuse me. Uh, Professor yeah. Su, please allow me to interrupt you because now we cannot see your desktop, your screen. So, screen? No. Yeah, no. So, so now we cannot see your PowerPoint. So okay. can you? I will okay. try again. Yeah. Uh, now I can see your video, but can you click the Gong Xiang Ping Mu in the below? The, there's a Gong Xiang Ping Mu, so you can share your PowerPoint. Let me try. Okay. okay. So. Now it's okay for the screen? No. I can now I can see your desktop. So okay, can I zoom in? So okay, now. I think you can... now it's okay. Yes. And you okay. uh yeah, thank you. So sorry everyone. Uh thanks to Double Medical for giving us the top uh, the chance to get together. Uh I'm Zhong Minsu from Shanghai Six People's Hospital. So my topic is just for the minimal invasive for the calcaneal fracture with the STA. Uh, this is our learning curve. Uh, before 1998, we just do the close reduction. And uh, from 1998, we just do the OIF with the lateral ex uh, extensor approach with the big plating. And 10 years ago, we do the minimal invasive. And since then, we have done a lot of uh, calcaneal fracture with the minimal invasive approach. And uh, from 19... Uh, 2016, we also do the arthroscopic assist reduction. And last year, we began to do the robotic surgery for minimal invasive. So we, we published our paper in, uh, in almost uh, uh, 18 years ago for the calcane fracture with the Y plate. At that time, we used the Lima uh, plate. This is from Italy and uh, also from uh, for the synthesis company for uh, eight years ago, and for the uh, biomet uh, plate uh, 16 years ago. And uh, we do the first generation uh, looking plate uh, almost 40 years ago. And uh, we published uh, our paper about the minimal invasive since uh, 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 10 years ago. And also we have the patent for our uh, looking plate. And the last year we began to do some research for the robotic uh, uh, surgery, also do for the calcane fracture, but this is a, a, a long learning curve. So uh, why we uh, changed over time? So because since the, this is uh, all those papers publishing almost uh, uh, 20 years ago, what happened? So this is a paper about the, the management of the cancer fractures, what we have learned over the years. And uh, this is a very important paper uh, published by the uh, Roy Sanders and uh, also a, a series of papers about the uh, lateral approach. And in 10 years ago, Bakhti from uh, Canada, he published his paper with the uh, conservative and also the operative treatment. So uh, the results is, is the same for the uh, two, two groups. So if uh, without the working compensation, uh, compensation and uh, so this gives us some, uh, uh, we just wonder about the results of the calcane fractures. So, too many champs uh, after the 20 years experience. So what about the goal of the surgery, uh, which is important of the, the surgery, the reduction or the approach or the choice of the internal fixation. So uh, what about the reduction? The most of the case we found in the uh, clinical, we found just a no reduction. It's just a, open and internal fixation, and uh, which is important for alignment. We find also a lot of cases of virus deformity, and also some cases 
uh, for vagus deformity. And a lot of uh, approach, uh, although we have educated uh, more than 20 years, uh, we still find that this is not a standard uh, letter approach and a lot of problems of the approach to infection and also the problem of internal fixation. Uh, the, the screw direction and the length of the screws and the non-union of the fracture and the breakage of the plate. So this is uh, the paper of uh, uh, evidence-based uh, level two. The significant relationship between the deep infection rates and also arthritis and uh, uh, just uh, uh, indicated the need for specialized uh, institution trauma care to improve outcomes for the uh, operative treatment of kidney infections. So, and also this paper uh, suggested for this is uh, experts only for kidney infections. So still a lot of arguments for the uh, such kind of problem. So the first is approach is it should be open or minimal invasive, and what about the reduction, which is important, Alarm, the alignment or the also uh, the uh, disturbance of the articular surface, and how to choose the internal fixation. So why why we do uh, the minimal invasive? We have the common sense that the surgery is uh, the good effect, uh, good uh, treatment for the cancer fractures, and uh, but there's a lot of complications for lateral extensive approach. And uh, the problem is is a soft tissue problem uh, the, for the edge necrosis, and maybe some case of uh, infection or osteomyelitis. That will be a disaster. And uh, also some small problem of the union of the cloverage and the infection. So although we have educated uh, for a long time, still some doctors will apply this is a rapid approach for the bigger lateral approach. And maybe it is uh, difficult for the later reconstruction of the subtalar arthritis. And this is a very important paper published more than uh, six, uh, years, uh, six years ago uh, in BMG. The conclusion is uh, uh, surgery is uh, not suitable for some cases of the calcaneal fractures. So this is uh, a 20 years male. Uh, this is, is uh, the uh, young athlete, we found from the letter view, we found that the intraarticular fractures and the alignment is so not so bad. And uh, this is sagittal view, we found also that decompression uh, uh, fragment. And from the, uh, this view, we found that this is a sentence of type two, maybe just a type two A. So we, we found some confusions. This is a simple fractures, just a sentence of type two, young and active. So what kind of treatment should we choose? Conservative or surgical or surgery? So if conservative, uh, what about the stiffness and uh, uh, some, sometimes the post-traumatic arthritis? So if we would do some surgery, uh, is this still, we should try the traditional letter approach with a big plate. So the paper uh, published in, uh, in, in, in Germany uh, eight years ago, just talk about the future. So the less invasive surgery, arthroscopy and the three dimension fluoroscopy are very important for reduction and uh, for the treatment of the calcaneum maybe in the future. And the, since the, the paper uh, more than 20 uh, seven years ago uh, for Lloyd Sanders, uh, no change uh, for the principles. So the, the goal of the surgery is for restoration of the 3D construction of the calcaneus, the alignment 
is very important. We should also reduce the article surface and the uh, good internal fixation. So the final choice for such case, we choose the minimal invasive. Uh, this is uh, my first case. We choose the modified sanitizing approach. This is more horizontal and this uh, may be just uh, less than five uh, centimeters. This is a direct uh, invasion of the subtalar joints. And also we can avoid the complication of the lateral approach and avoid the stiffness of a subtalar joint. And sometimes we, we, we don't have the arthroscopy and uh, it's easy to direct find the uh, fragment and reduce then and uh, temporarily fixed with the KYs. Then use, use, use the 2.7 uh, small uh, fragment plate. This is a non-anatomic uh, plate. And we also use the 4.5 uh, X of screws. This is very important for the alignment. And then we also uh, apply the three point uh, fixation principle uh, for the sanitizing uh, the sustained technical, this is a constant fragment screw, is very important. And uh, maybe 70% of the uh, intra-articular surface will involve the calculated cuboid joint. So we should uh, uh, reduce the calculated uh, joint and also the tuberosity. So this is our choice. We do the 3D reconstruction. We use a lifting plate for the articular surface and the exo uh, screws for the alignment. Then we stabilize of the media and the lateral column and the articular joints. This we call the 3D reconstruction. And this is a, a 35 years male. We also see this is tongue type. This is a, a coronal view because uh, this is a sentence type two, but sagittal view with small, this is a depression uh, fragment. Uh, this may be called a sentence type three. Yeah. So we do the STA approve, then find the, the fragment, the decompression fragment, then reduce them, uh, use the small screws, also the 2.7 uh, mini fragment looking plate. How to evaluate the reduction uh, intraoperative is, is very key. So you can use the uh, 3D CT intraoperatively. So this case, after the reduction and the plating, we just find that the article surface reduction is good. And also the sagittal view. So some uh, doctors suggest uh, for the arthroscopy for the uh, uh, for the reduction of the calculated fractures. This is a remit from a German uh, population more than 18 years ago. And uh, this is Chung Kiwai from Singapore also published their experience and they said this uh, subtalar arthroscopy and the fluoroscopy uh, is the best of the uh, both worlds. So our case shows six weeks post operatively. This is a good alignment of the uh, X view and uh, also the lifting uh, uh, plating of the uh, article surface. This is 18 months post-operatively. The patient's function is good. So why we choose the 2.7 millimeter plate? Because at that time, uh, 10 years ago, we don't have the uh, other plate. So we found that the, this is uh, uh, suitable for the article service for the lifting technique. And we also use the uh, 4.5 uh, millimeter screws. This is for the uh, exo screws for the media uh, column, also lateral column. So the uh, lifting of the actual surface is very important. Uh, this is more stable. Uh, and uh, uh, also uh, exo screws for media column and alignment is very important. And the Merck in, in, uh, in technique also view also published their experience for the X view. 
and uh, a lot of papers uh, discuss about the biomechanics for the X-view uh, screws. It's very important for the uh, state uh, alignment. And uh, this is a 24 years male. Also, we kind of found that this is uh, the simple uh, uh, turn type fractures. And the colon we find that this is uh, uh, maybe just a sentence type A. We also do the STA and uh, uh, distract the articular with the distractor. Then we find the, the fragment. Then reduce with the KYs. And finally, uh, fix it with the 2.7 uh, plating. And also extra screws for the alignment. So this is a 90 months post operative it's a good alignment and a good union of the fracture and a good uh, function of the subtalar joints. So this is the uh, uh, paper published uh, about the, the plating of the calculator, the tripe, triple plate technique. They also use uh, 2.7 millimeter and the result is good. Uh, Ten years ago, we don't have such kind of a uh, wave plate uh, in uh, in Chinese in China. So uh, we want to do some design. So uh, for special special the design plate for the STA, and the the function is for the lofting of the articular surface. But for the body of the calculus, we should use uh, the closed technique deduction and the screws fixation. So, and we also uh, have the Chinese uh, patent 10 years ago. Then this is our uh, plate. This plate uh, not for the surface, also for the uh, uh, cubed joint uh, surface. And we also do the Philip uh, study also by medicals, and we also do some anatomical research for such kind of plating. And uh, this is very safe for this kind of approach. And then this is uh, the plate, the sample, uh, the, the final, uh, the products uh, 10 years ago. So this is a uh, uh, 50 years male. This uh, also, we found this is uh, 10 type fractures. And uh, this uh, colon we will say this uh, sentence type two. Then uh, closed the deduction and uh, uh, the, the deduction of the posterior facet with the STA also with our plate and the extra view, uh, extra screws for the alignment and the stabilization of the media colon and the lateral colon. This is the final results and good alignment and uh, which is stable. We publish of the results in in our Chinese uh, uh, literatures. So why we choose uh, miss? This is a trend. And uh, the function is good, it's uh, quick for recovery and uh, uh, quick to return to normal activity and life. So indication of the miss, uh, I think this is uh, simple sense type of force. Uh, this is a paper also from uh, China uh, by Chinese doctors. They also publish this uh, for the STA approach for sentence type of force. The, the results is good. So what about the timing of the miss? Uh, I agree with the uh, Gavin. We should uh, do as quick as possible. Uh, no need for the wrinkle tests. Uh, should be within two weeks, otherwise they are difficult for Deduction and the more complications for soft tissue. Uh, there are also a uh, lot of papers for the evidence based uh, for the uh, minimal invasive. It's a long time. And also good results for the minimal invasive surgery. And what about the sanitizer approach? Uh, this is, uh, uh, I think, this is uh, most uh, uh, choice. What about the complication? Also, they have some complications. If we, uh, the patient have a diabetes, uh, this is uh, not a good results. 
And also, uh, we should pay attention for the uh, perineal uh, cellular nerve uh, complications. Uh, and also, uh, this same uh, papers about the uh, results of a minimal invasive, uh, invasive surgery or the uh, tensor letter approach. This uh, good results for the minimal invasive and the low complication uh, of the soft tissue. How to do the reduction? We should do some, uh, we should need some techniques. We use the uh, KYs uh, for the joystick approach. And uh, sometimes we use the uh, femur distract or use the, the uh, uh, point uh, cramp for reduction of the uh, tuberosity. And also uh, avoid of the wireless deformity. And uh, uh, this paper also of uh, Chinese doctors just discuss of the media distractions is good for the awareness deformity. And we, we can use the close reduction technique with the car wise, this uh, from Bula, and of the sex repair technique uh, for the tongue type or sentence type 2C. And uh, in this book, Minimal Invasive Surgery in Australopithecus, uh, Dr. Kozi said, as far back as 1984, this uh, Professor Ma in, uh, in Beijing Hospital in Shanghai, they published the approach with the uh, combined for the manual manipulation of the heel with the percutaneous poking of the fracture fragments. And uh, this is a uh, typical technique with the uh, KYs, a joystick, and uh, for the reduction of the posterior facet. And the steel arguments for the internal fixation, should we use a KYs or just the screws or a small plating or big, big plating? The screw fixation is a traditional approach, just uh, like uh, Gavin uh, have talked about, and uh, sometimes just for the additional supplement of a plating. And uh, it's very important for the articular surface. This is for the fixation of the costal fragment was a tentacular and also for the posterior facets. And uh, for screws, this is a classical, and uh, we also use for the extra uh, uh, longitudinal screws for the stabilization of the medial wall or lateral wall. But the disadvantage is, is uh, it's difficult for the comminuted fractures or some cases of osteoporosis. And uh, we maybe uh, need uh, more uh, screws for a uh, school technique. Uh, for what about the, the plating? Uh, too, man, uh, too many choice. And uh, so what kind of the uh, printer should we uh, choose? And a lot of papers uh, just discuss uh, with the plate or screws. And uh, the results the, is uh, the two best methods is good results. And the basic principles for the, uh, uh, for the choice of the internal fixation should be the fracture. We should discuss the fracture type and where is the main fragment and also the doctor's experience. So what about non-locking or for locking plate? We should uh, uh, depend on the age of the, the patients, also fracture type, the bone quality, and we also uh, think about the soft tissue and uh, what kind of approach you should apply and also the experience of the doctors. So we just uh, look back at this paper. Uh, so what have we have learned over the so many years, a minimal invasive may be the future. And the prognosis is uh, unpredictable, uh, especially for the intra-articular calcaneal fractures. This is a miss. So uh, this is my uh, uh, conclusion. Uh, for the Sandatasi approach, this is minimal invasive. We should apply three points fixation principle. And the sustained tentacular screw should apply uh, the medial extra screws for the alignment. 
and the minimal invasive surgery is a trend, the future. And the, uh, the, the important is, is uh, the reduction. The alignment is more important than the articular surface. So what about the blood approach? Uh, STA may be suitable for the simple uh, centers type two or type three. And there is uh, uh, good results with low complications of a soft tissue. Thanks for your attention.